Hey there stampers and welcome to a video and I haven't done one in a very long time. I have been uh, just having a rough go. So I decided to <laughs> um, not stress myself out doing videos all the time and feel that pressure. And um, But I had a great request. Someone purchased my Every Bunny card class planner and was a little concerned about the coloring. She felt she wasn't great at it, but she said she was going to give it a go. And so she purchased the planner. So I told her I would do a, a video. I'm not going to do it on the planner, but I am going to show you guys what I do with my coloring. So I'm going to use, I think this is called Lean On Me, the set, and my room is a mess. I've been sick. I had the flu this week, um, fever and yeah, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so I'm just going to, I try to zoom in so that you have a good look. I almost always use the watercolor paper and stays on jet black. So I'm inking up the stamp. And I just want good coverage, and I'm going to... Stamp it. Very cute. I love this set. But it'll work with any set. You can do flowers and it all works the same way. I have this little palette and I got it a hundred years ago um, when I was still doing a lot of traditional scrapbooking and I bought it with a scrapbook paint set. And so, you know, it's just a little plastic palette. Um, bef bef when I lose this, I will use the tops of our stamp sets and I'll lay ink down just like that and use it for coloring and you can see that it wipes right off add a little water and it's gone um, or you know spray it with with stamper okay I need to refill anyway but it does come right off like that um, and you can use the plastic ones that for wood they, um, I just slip a piece of copy paper in there and I do the same thing. So using this palette, I'm going to lay down some colors that I want to use. So I'm going to start with um, a little So Saffron, some Crumb Cake, and I really don't know today why I'm picking what I'm picking. I'm just grabbing what's here. This is Primrose petals and maybe a little gumball green. I love gumball green. My friend Jeannie does not. She does not like it at all. Oh, I need just a touch of a light pink and I usually grab a pink pirouette. Okay, so that's my palette and all I'm going to do is use the blender pen to pick up some color. Um, what should we start with? Let's start with her dress. Let's give her a green dress. So I'm going to pick up some of this. I do keep a piece of scratch paper so I can kind of see how strong the ink is. And then I start where it would naturally be darkest. Um, I'm going to say the sun is coming from this direction, so it'll be darker over here, mainly right there, and then come down, and then I just kind of flatten my brush out so I'm getting a, you know, a bigger stroke there, wider stroke. It is like the brush tip, sort of, of our pens, so you can see with that one little application, it's darker and then it starts to fade and I have that beautiful shading without hardly any work. Now see, I hardly have any ink there as comp compared to this one. So I'm going to go back and pick up just a little bit more, test it. I'm going to finish this sleeve here and then come under the collar and do this sleeve and just make some strokes like that and come back and make it a little darker under the collar. And I like the way that looks. Maybe just a tad more here. And there you go. Now I'm going to clean my brush by rubbing it on some scratch paper. 
and let's make her a little blondie girl. So let's pick up some of this So Saffron. Now this is a light color, so I really pick up quite a bit on the brush. And remember the sun is not coming from this direction, so I'm going to start over here and then work my way towards the area where I think it would be lightest. And there she is. And clean my brush, made my pin, and then let's see, let's give her uh, maybe this primrose petals for her collar. Oh, it's okay, little dog. And I don't know, what do I have on my palette here? We could make our butterfly that same color. This one a little darker because it would cast a little shadow from her chin. And now we're just going to do her skin. I'm going to clean this and then I'm going to pick up some of that pink pirouette. And I'm I picked up not a lot and I don't really want it to be this bright pink, so I'm taking some of it off and then I'm going to start and, and it'll fade. And that's all I'm using. That's it. Her face doesn't look like she has enough. So when I go back, since I don't want that real intense, this is where I, the area where I picked it up before. So I'm just going to go in there. There's going to be a little left, but it's diluted from the um, fluid that's in the marker already. And finish her off like this. And then you can pick up straight and then add a little rosy cheek to her. Like that. Isn't that cute? But it really is. So the first time you do it, practice. You know, and then if you like the results, great. You know, you can go with that. I always like to add a little ground um, when I'm doing something like this. Let me clean this off the pink. I'm going to pick up some of the, I think it was crumb cake that I put down. And then I'm just going to start where her foot would be touching or right under the foot and then pull and kind of flatten the brush, the, the, the marker. And then pick up a little bit more, but I don't want it super dark. So I'm going to like this and I'm going to pick up just a touch of that green. Blend it softly in. And there you go. Easy. And this goes for any of anything that you want to do with a blender pen. The trick really is this watercolor paper and the blender pen. I do it with my aqua painter as well, dry. And I've, do I've done tons of tutorials on that. So I'm not going to do another one, but um, the other trick that I have, um, putting your marker on a palette and picking it up that way will give you a softer look. But if you wanted a more intense color, you could use a reinker. So so saffron is one that I have a hard time getting intense color from. But that's way too much, by the way. That would be enough for like 10 cards. So if um, I wanted to have a more intense blonde, she, this poor little girl had just gone to the beautician and had a really good dye job. <laughs> you can see the difference. It almost looks like more mustard um, that way. But it'll give you a more intense color. And sometimes you want that. Um, or for shading, you might want that. Um, anyway, um, the the kids, the storybook, I'm terrible with names. The ones in the wagon, that one I always like more intense color, so I tend to do it with my reinkers. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Um, but practice your first time, and you'll start to get a flow of it, and then you'll be more confident each and every time you do it. But it really is 
a super easy way to to get that nice blended look that we see with those really expensive markers that aren't stamping up um, and I just love this I, I'm thrifty and I like to use what I already have so I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time bye